Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dual punk console out of a 556 timer. And to get a 556 timer, you need to take it out of this mosquito repellent circuit. This mosquito repellent circuit puts off a high frequency sound and it's supposed to ward off mosquitoes. Well, high frequency is exactly what I require because a 556 timer is similar to a 555 timer. And, you can, and it has more pins than a 555 timer, which means I can be able to use two potentiometers to create a dual punk console. So that's what I'm going to be building today. And here is the 556 timer, and I'm going to extract that off from the circuit. So let's get started. Now let's go ahead and remove all of these components from this PCB instantly. There we go. Now here are all of my components scattered everywhere, but I'm only interested in the one component, and that is the 556 timer. Here it is. So now let's get started and let's build this dual punk console. Here are the items that you're gonna need to be able to build this circuit. A couple of alligator cables, two 1 mega ohm potentiometers, two 20 ohm resistor, 3.3 microfarad capacitor, 104 picofarad capacitors, and a speaker. A speaker that is 6 ohms and 2 watts. So let's get started assembling this circuit. And as you can see, this is the schematic that you are going to need to be able to build this circuit. If you want, you can pause this video and copy this circuit, or build from this circuit. But if not, stay tuned and watch how this circuit works and how to build it step by step. First, I'm going to go and connect the two positive rails together, and connect the two negative rails together. By doing that, allow me to be able to power both sides a little bit easier. Now I have my two potentiometers. I'm going to place one on the very end on that side. And the other one on the opposite side. Now I get a jumper cable and connect pin 1 and connect it to the potentiometer, to the first pin of the potentiometer, connect the second jumper cable to the center pin of the potentiometer. and connect that one to positive. Connect that to the positive rail. Next, I have my 220 ohm resistor and that is connected between pin one and pin six. All right, pin one, pin six is now connected by a 220 ohm resistor. Now I'm going to take a jumper cable and connect pin 2 to pin 6. Now I have another jumper cable and that is connected to pin 5 and pin 8. Pin 5 and pin 8 are connected. Now I have another jumper cable connected to pin 7, and pin 7 is connected to ground. Next I have my 104 picofarad capacitor, and that is connected to ground and pin 6. Now I have a jumper cable, and that is connected to pin 9.
pin 9 has a jumper cable where the wire is loose and it connects to an alligator clip. And then connected from the alligator clip, from pin 9 is connected to the negative of the speaker. Next, I have my 3.3 microfarad capacitor. Place that on the side of the breadboard. And now I have a jumper cable connected to the negative part of the capacitor. And that is connected to pin 10. Now I have a jumper cable and that is connected to the positive of the capacitor. Wire is loose. And now the loose part of the wire is connected to an alligator clip. And then from the alligator clip is connected to the positive of your speaker. So basically the positive of the capacitor is connected to the positive of the speaker, which is connected to pin 10. Now I have pin 10 connected to pin 14. Take a jumper cable and connect pin 10 to 14. Now take another jumper cable and connect pin 14 to positive. Take another jumper cable and connect pin 12 and pin 13. Pin 13 and pin 12 are connected. Next I have another jumper cable connected to pin 13 and pin 13 is connected to the potentiometer, to the first pin of the potentiometer. Now I take another chamber cable and connect it to the center pin of the potentiometer, and that will be connected to the positive rail. Now I've moved the jumper cable of pin 12 to give myself an extra connection because I'm connecting the 104 picofarad ceramic capacitor from ground to pin 12. And there you have it. Everything is now connected. Now it's time to power the circuit. Now I'm gonna crank the power up to nine volts on the lab bench power supply. And as soon as it hits nine volts, the circuit is now powered. So let's go ahead and test it out and see what it sounds like. And there you have it, your dual punk console with using a 556 timer powered by 9 volts and controlled by two potentiometers. This device is really interesting, you can use it to play all kinds of strange music or use it as a strange instrument. 
or just to make a bunch of weird noises just for fun. So there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.